I want to start by asking you to forget what you know about robots. Forget the science fiction cliches, forget the clunky machines that you see in factories, forget the idea that robotics is only about automation or efficiency. Because the next frontier of robotics is not mechanical, it's emotional. That's Grace Brown, a 25-year-old entrepreneur whose startup's humanoids have taken Australia's aging care sector by storm. They're apparently going to roll it out to 22 facilities across Melbourne, and no doubt it will go across the country. Now, with substantial financial backing, Brown's company is scaling production of its AI-powered robots and expanding into the United States. As investors pour billions to bring social and emotionally intelligent robots to the masses, could a rather colorful dark horse be emerging from down under? A fifth of the Australian population is back under strict lockdown this morning with stage three restrictions now in place. The military has been brought in to help control movement in and out of lockdown areas this morning. Grace Brown began developing Abby as a personal project to cope with isolation during COVID-19 lockdowns while studying mechatronics engineering at the University of Melbourne. She had been building robots as a hobby since she was 15. After graduating from university, the engineer slash entrepreneur launched Andromeda Robotics in 2022. Andromeda has a vision for better health and well-being in Australia's aged care sector. The startup secured early funding from Galileo Ventures and by November 2023, started initial trials in Victoria aged care homes. They raised $3 million in June 2024 to scale production of Abbey within Australia. For the most part, the land down under has stayed out of the global humanoid robotics race. Outside of Andromeda, the country's humanoids are mostly limited to academic research projects like Guru from the University of Queensland and Stewart at the University of Western Australia. Andromeda raised $23 million during its latest fundraising round, led by San Francisco venture capital firm Foreigner, which focuses on early-stage consumer-facing products. Some of its famous fact companies include Warby Parker, Dollar Shave Club, Glossier, Him and Hers, Chime, and Fair. Andromeda has grown to a staff of about 30 and is valued at $100 million. Its stated mission is to create the world's first truly empathetic companion robot. They want their robots to serve as best friends rather than just assistants. Emotional intelligence is the missing layer of modern robotics, and we are building it into every pixel, every sensor, every interaction. With its new funding, Melbourne-based Andromeda plans to scale production, fast-track its waitlist, and expand into the North American aged care market. This capital and resources are going to be quite significant for us. Um, to date, we've only raised four million Australian dollars. And with that, we were able to bring Abby to market, commercialize her. We'd hit close to three million in revenue. The US and Australia have similarly growing aging populations, each with about 17% of its people older than 65. In both countries, the rapid growth of seniors 85 and above is the biggest pressure point for healthcare and elder care systems. Because in, in aged care, people don't realize it, but like four out of 10 people never receive visitors from like friends or family ever. So day after day, they're spending time alone in their rooms um, just by themselves. Whereas with Abby, you know, we don't force anyone to interact with her, but what she can do is she can replace some of that loneliness or some of that isolation that they would have with like an interaction or an activity or something where they'd otherwise be alone. Standing about 120 centimeters or four feet, Abby's cartoon-like appearance is inspired by Disney characters. Now, a lot of inspiration for Abby derived from Baymax, the healthcare companion robot from Big Hero 6. Um, and just like how the animators at Pixar managed to perfectly depict his um, caring and childlike nature, convincing us all that he truly had Tadashi's best interests. Brown says Andromeda reached out to around 40 nursing homes in Melbourne for feedback during the design process. I guess my secret's out. I'm officially too fabulous for just one page. If you were featured in a magazine, what headline would you want splashed across the front? The colorful, lightweight robot is built from 3D printed parts. It can speak more than 90 languages with its chat GPT powered conversational artificial intelligence. Equipped with facial recognition and memory, Abby can recall past interactions from days or even months ago and adapt its personality to different residents. It expresses emotions using animations via its screen based face. 
the wheeled humanoid navigates independently with its vision system in its chest. Each Abbey unit reportedly costs around $10,000 to build, with customer pricing based on the number of robots and support services needed. Andromeda plans to scale from 8 to 100 units per month, grow its team, and roll out the next generation version of the robot, called Genesis Abbey. Andromeda is entering the U.S. market amid intensifying competition. Not everyone is optimistic. And sure, it looks cute, but there is no replacement for human connection. The Abbey is no replacement for human connection. It's like saying glasses is no replacement for real eyesight. In San Francisco, a trio of young entrepreneurs launched Collabs to rapidly scale production of its social caretaker robot. They are developing the third iteration of their AI-powered robot named Sam. For your grandparents. The wheeled robot navigates autonomously and immediately notifies caregivers if something needs their attention. The team accelerated the robot's development at Founders Inc., a hardware-first startup incubator. The startup says it's racing toward 1,000 units and $1 million in revenue through rapid iteration instead of spending years in research and development. Over time, they plan to roll out higher-end models with arms that can perform tasks. In Paris, Enchanted Tools is moving its anime-inspired flagship humanoid, Mirakai, to mass deployment with an emphasis on healthcare and elder care settings. The startup was launched in 2021 by Jerome Monceau, who helped develop two of the most widely deployed humanoids ever, the popular research bot now and the social service robot Pepper. They're aiming for pricing around $30,000. In China, Shanghai-based Fourier has opened pre-orders for its so-called humanoid care bot, the GR3. Standing about 165 centimeters, or 5 feet 5 inches, it's designed to be a social companion with emotional intelligence. Weighing 55 kilos, or about 121 pounds, it features a soft-touch outer shell and boasts 55 degrees of freedom. Fourier is targeting use cases like elderly care and companionship, physical rehabilitation, and assistive care. Fourier has not publicly revealed pricing, but it's believed to be in the six figures. And there's a growing array of robotics firms that are positioning their hyper-realistic androids for caregiving. Among them is Las Vegas-based Realbotics, whose lifelike companion robots range in price from $20,000 to more than $175,000. Though it's having a moment now, this is hardly its first time in the spotlight. For more on the decades-long journey that began in the hidden corners of the internet, check the related video.